this this is an exciting uh, time. This is an exciting time for uh, multiple sclerosis. Uh, we've gone from having maybe a handful of disease modifying therapies to having well over 15, 16, perhaps 17 therapies now available. Um, looking near future as well as long term, there are several uh, exciting drugs in the pipeline. Some represent perhaps uh, updated versions of current drugs in terms of method of action. There are some uh, new drugs being developed with uh, new methods of action or different methods of action, mechanisms of action. And uh, I believe that they may represent uh, an option hopefully for areas of MS that we continue to experience challenges in treating, uh, that is active secondarily progressive patients, uh, primary progressive MS patients, uh, et cetera. Um, during this COVID era, um, I think some have become, or some have been more risk averse. I, while I think we should all exercise ju judicious caution, I, I don't think we are doing our patients any favors by withholding treatment. Uh, one has to weigh the relative risks of suboptimally treated multiple sclerosis against the risk of contracting COVID. Um, I have settled upon utilizing the best treatment for a patient while uh, balancing that with discussion about COVID safety. In other words, I'm not, for the most part, I'm not withholding uh, the best treatment option for a patient uh, because of COVID. Um, to summarize, I would say MS is a chronic uh, disease state that requires uh, ongoing treatment, not only disease-modifying therapy, but also symptomatic therapies and lifestyle therapies. Uh, we must maintain vigilance even during this COVID era and not uh, ignore the needs of patients.